yes, we are back after a week hiatus. Is yeah, that this what that is yeah. So <laughs> this is episode four hundred. Four hundred. Yeah. 400. Yeah. Sorry, guys, you couldn't make it to the descent this year, but uh, you know, mm-hmm. hope you guys have fun about the descent. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, go on. Yes. This, go on. Get through. Get this is the chest. Dear in that episode four hundred with your host Lauren. Yeah, and Joe. Yeah, we are above the descent. Yeah, we're above but the then I will climb back into the descent. Uh-huh. So. Uh, so here go we go talk about because a lot of things happened within two weeks. Yeah, we go talk about Asen. We go talk about John, John Wick, Wick Part Three. In part Three, Pelabellum. We go talk about that whole San Pedro Mudas. Uh, but first, I'm gonna talk about what happened to me this weekend at yeah. Combo Breaker 2019. Isn't that fun? It's just a week after mm-hmm. Asen, basically. Yeah, it used to be uh near the Asen of our Donnelly Stevens. Now mm-hmm. moved. And moved to the St. Uh, Charles at uh-huh. the uh, Mega Mall. No, yeah. Mega Center, not Mega Mall. Mega Center. At this pleasant run, old timey hotel. Yeah, they have the Amazon <laughs> store. No. That was not that place? No. Oh, what was that one? The Amazon actual store? No, the Amazon store that I was a let me in, let me yeah. in. Yeah. That was downtown oh. Chicago. <laughs> oh, you, you stopped by, I guess. I stopped by, but they closed at like 8. Oh, PM, man. and I just got there at like ten. I'm just like, let me in, let me in. So, uh-huh. um, let's start off with Friday. So Friday, I met my friend Missy and her boyfriend at on um, by the train station. I say they were still what, here. The Rosemont, huh? <laughs> They're still here. Oh I no, no, they no. Live in Chicago? <laughs> no. So my friend Missy, she spent her time traveling around. She have a place. She got two homes. So some in that like one place, her main home, not main home. So her home state, so here in some in the suburb on in, in Illinois, and then she live out in Oklahoma. Oh, okay. Her boyfriend lives in Oklahoma as well. Missy was over here like the stay for the week because she was like it'd be pointless to travel back and forth. But like her boyfriend, unfortunately, had to work. What's up, Joe? What's going on? That's sure. her boyfriend name. Eh? Uh-huh. So if you're listening to us, and they listen to us, I go send them the well, invite. But they should though. Mm-hmm. So, um. I like pretty much met them at the uh, at Rosemont train station, uh, Blue Line. So then we took took it. Um, we drove, went back to her place. They no, uh, we all took in, like a nap or whatnot because it was bright and early. And they fucking been up since forever. And I was like, I'm just gonna watch a bunch of stuff on YouTube. And then I get a message, seven page of Muda. I was like, Ooh, I check this out later. And <laughs> then, uh, then we had to point, Combo it was Breaker. exactly that day too. Mm-hmm. That's kind of funny to think of. And later had on. to Combo Breaker. Went yeah. to Combo, and I was like, Okay, cool. Um, so, um what to say is, yeah, thank you, yeah. the hot dog Rick, for um, pretty much inviting me. Well, not inviting me, just uh, having Combo Breaker in Illinois once again. It's yeah. a fabulous place. It's good it's, to know we got we got that. We one got else. a big major here it's not in Chicago. Chicago. It's outside. It's, it's like two. It's like pretty much two hours away from Chicago. Yeah. Which is funny because uh, one of my friends uh, from overseas, this UK player, Justin, mm-hmm. was like saying, "Was like Yoka," even though he had not like to put his British accent on because my British accent is horrible. <laughs> he was like, "Man, see, two hours away and like in the UK, it's completely different from two hours away from Chicago. Yeah, like from true. in this in like here in the states, it's like yeah, you know, usually it's just like an hour or two away we just like we make it and just like boom we're here you know mm-hmm. we're not like in a different part of the world it's just like oh it's still a long ways but you know he enjoyed himself in like because a he's also a um like a tournament organizer in the uk scene so he like i wonder what they have in the uk <laughs> they they it's a whole it's a lot of tekken no mm-hmm. not tekken it's more combat i was like tekken? no it's more com- tekken is a little bit up there but it's like mostly like street fire uh and more combat now Oh, that's cool. So, yeah, in the UK scene, the UK scene is coming up big. So, mm-hmm. they are pretty much getting up there. They just need a big venue. And he was up here, like, pretty much, you know, playing as well, but also, like, scouting, like, oh, man, this is kind of great. You know, just getting ideas. Then I met a organizer from Canada. Um, oh, I think, like, from up there. And she was like, hey, why don't you come up north and blah, blah, blah. Like, oh, I was like, I just. Like that, huh? Yeah, I was just like, I just met you. Just like. Two minutes, literally, after it's like, you no, know, Justin just pretty much was just like, hey, how's it going, blah, 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 and I'm just sitting there, like, just in pa- not in passing, just with him, just following him around, and he was just like, oh, yeah, this is one of my friend, blah, 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 he said, yeah, you should come to the camera, too, I was just mm-hmm. like, well, 
Thanks. Mm -hmm. I I will try to. I'm not sure like arrangements and stuff, but thanks for the invite. Um, Man, no. I think we should make that happen. Yeah, I think we see should. us above the uh, above the, the great uh, white north. The great no, that's uh, that's not Canada. What's, is it? That's not. I'm pretty that, sure that's, that's Canada. That's that's so not Canada. Great white north. Are you kidding me? Oh, I think. <laughs> hey the, Siri. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got upside down. Nope. <laughs> hey Siri, come on. What is the great white north? Find this on the web for come on. Oh, it's it's Canadian. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, good. No, it's the album Great White North. Well, still, I got it. <laughs> Anyways, but anywho, but so, um, yeah, we're gonna we're not gonna party with Drake. That's one thing for sure. <laughs> uh -huh. But um, you know, just walking around, bump bump into a whole lot of FGC. You no, know, just playing a fine game, legends and people in the now and then. And I was just like, just I go listen names. Sonic Fox, I bump into. I gave him a fist bump. Yipes. I know uh, I gave a fist bump to Tasty Steve again. What's up to I? Uh, fuck! It's just a whole, um, a whole lot of people I I seen and say what's up. Cool Kid ninety three, Chicago favorite. You no, know, he was up. He, he was up. You no, know, down there. And I said, gave him what's up. Met him like, hey man, hold it, keep holding down for Chicago. <laughs> um, good job. My tone was like, I watched his streams and good job. He's like, thanks man, much appreciate it. Everyone just like humble up there, like, hey man, thanks, you know, thank you for the support. Uh, you on uh, NYC, Chris G. Uh, mm -hmm. okay, well, he live in Cali now. Uh, female characters, uh, Sherry G. Uh, Sherry, I saw up there. Pink Diamond, I just see a whole lot of these LGC. I don't want to say personalities, but these players, these no, just these no. These not and I say athletes contenders, just all these just in Chicago and they just like right there and just like holy crap, and just like no oh, like hey no no don't be afraid it's not like a, they like they know yeah they in that famous they trench famous but you can just say what's up no what's up no just a quick no hey how's it going this and that blah blah blah, blah. and I was like okay cool. So that was fun and stuff like on those two days, but on the day I want to talk about. That I went on this not well, you went Twitter on rent. Friday and Saturday. I went there on Friday Saturday. I didn't go Sunday because I had to work. Yeah. So I wish I was there at Grand Finals because the, was, they closed out at for they called the last I think the last thing they did was more comeback. Yeah, because I was mm -hmm. like I was like on Sling or whatever. They have a thick channel called Cheddar. I'm like, mm -hmm. what the fuck is Cheddar? <laughs> they go on their Cheddar Esports and they're talking about, you know, what was happening in Combo I'm mm -hmm. like, oh hey, look at that. <laughs> there it is. Uh -huh. Anyways, yeah, go on. So. Yeah, so you're talking. You want to talk about Saturday? Mm -hmm. so? Okay. Saturday. So Saturday, right? I was with my um, like with a group of like uh, with some friends that you know, Joe and Missy, uh -huh. and you no, know, they was with they you know, with their friends as well. So this player from Florida, from Pensacola, you no, know, his name, no, his tag name is Tom Savage. So Tom had his match, and then got sent to losers. And then he was like, okay, cool. So he survived his pools and this and that, but got sent to losers. And no, he, and he survived his, like, his pool and everything else. So he was waiting for his match. His match was supposed to start at three. Mm -hmm. I think, like, around, yeah, about two, like, two, like, they gotta say three. His match started at three. Because, um, Joel's match was also started, like, at round two. So, yeah, he got. Wait, so your friends what, entered? Huh? Yeah, my friend entered and he went one and two. Oh, and it was all about you. No, so <laughs> Go on. the thing is with that, like, so there was kind of some really weird stuff going on in the in the bracket. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm not gonna not gonna say it was some favoritism, but I sense it was like, hey, some of the stuff didn't, didn't really make sense to me. Maybe you know, I'm not a you know bracket organizer. Maybe you know, if I understand certain stuff. Uh -huh. Then I'd be like, okay, cool. But there's some stuff like, hey, this person faced this person. No, this person pulls a face. This person, yeah. Why did this not happen? Uh -huh. Quote unquote. But you know what? Maybe I'm not sure. Maybe I'm, no. Maybe I need some some better understanding. Or like, oh well, this person here was far enough, so he got sent up to here. Maybe no. Maybe there's some science behind, behind this. Just let me know. Hashtag Common Breaker 2019. So let's get back to this. Uh, get get back to this play. Todd's uh, Tom Savage, so Savage, his pool started at three. His person did not show up until about three forty-five. Oh, at that point you should be disqualified, right? Yeah, uh -huh. supposed to be disqualified. And I was like, uh -huh. because I was talking about, so okay, man, you know, you run through your renters, 
you rent a side, then you do, do you go through, you lose a side. And Tom was like, yo, um, went to the, you know, T.O., went to the person who was in charge of breakfast, said, hey, uh, what's my match? And the guy was like, oh, he'll be here in a minute. And he mm-hmm. was like, okay, um, like the last person, like the last pools I was in, the guy was like, not here, call your name, you DQ, you just, dis- you disqualify. Mm-hmm. He's like, no, 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 the guy be here in a minute. And oh, Tom's mm-hmm. like, well, whatever you say, but I will come back to you like in the next 10 minutes. If not, not if, if my match don't come up, he's like, he should be disqualified, uh-huh. right? That's what the organizers, that's what the, any time it rules, everything else. If a person not there, if in like 10 to like 10, like 5, 10 minutes, that person disqualified. That's in any regulations unless the tournament is running behind and they be like, yo, we need to kill time, so fine. They ran through winner's side. They ran through loser's side. He was the last loser. He was in the loser black. He was the last in the loser bracket because the guy came in pretty much 45 minutes late. Oh, wow. Like 3.45. And the end of winning against Tom, which I was like, yeah, wow, that's, that's fucking shady as fuck. Yeah, that's pretty And I was like, I don't want to say favoritism because the guy was a pro, like he was sponsored by like pro players. Uh-huh. Everything by a pro organist. He was sponsored. I was like, is that because Tom was not sponsored? <laughs> he was just a local. He just say like, oh, he's not. He's not nobody. And this and this player gets special <clears throat> treatment because oh, like oh well, we know this player. He's just late. Everything else. And I'm just like, yo, you got this guy here. You got like one. It's unfair to me to see a guy who's just been waiting there for at least a good like. 45 minutes, not even have no run, no nothing, not playing with you. There's two empty consoles while, like, you know, what's going on. Two PlayStation consoles not playing at all. Just complete that whole side winner's bracket, and they're still waiting for losers, and the guy pretty much waiting around like, okay, still waiting for my turn because I'm on winner's side, so, okay, cool. That side of the pool's done. They lose the side. Vince started. They, they in the third round losers. Uh-huh. And like whoever got like Wayne there, he pretty much weighing around too. Like okay, so am I face against you or face against no invisible seat Jesus? <laughs> so I'm sitting there like okay, well he's a good player. <laughs> well, he's a very good player, top tier, hundred percent. Yeah, and I was like, I don't understand this. And no, Tom Bloss, and he was like really pissed off. He like, can someone explain to me? How this happened? Like he's just like yo, how mm-hmm. if a guy is late by forty five minutes and he still get to play and he still get to advance? How did this? Why? Mm-hmm. And I was like, I was like, I can talk about this on Twitter. Maybe someone has the explanation on this. I mean, you did, <laughs> and they did. And I have to say is, I know the guy who personally who sent me the message and everything else. Yeah, I saw that. I was uh-huh. like, oh, so that guy has to be someone on in that. Yeah, book. and like I know that person and everything else. And I have to say is, I completely disagree with you on everything you say. Look, I can understand if you're five, ten minutes late and understand what the logic is saying. But if I'm explaining to you, if 45 minutes has passed and there's consoles <sighs> still not playing, like two uh-huh. consoles, two video game consoles of the tournament, it's like going, yeah. like just completely empty. And they done with winners. Yeah. No, there's four there's four TVs. Four, four TVs. TVs. One, two, three, four. One side <laughs> winners, one side losers. No, they done with the winner side. They just waiting for losers. And this one person here is keeping the rest of the tournament up. Uh-huh. And you tell me that A, the T O did not A completely just like, yo, I'm going like for the sake of the tournament, I'm just gonna have to describe from disqualify him and the T O did not disqualify him. Why? I want to know why. Is it favoritism? Is it because, A, just like, oh, well, this guy's a known player, so we cannot just disqualify the guy because he was running late. Who gives a shit? <laughs> well, if he's late, then he should disqualify. He should know, like, hey, you should have been here. DN. <laughs> it is people some... you know, people get disqualified a lot. I'm pretty sure if he was a no-name and it was a... Uh, it was the other way around. I'm pretty sure that uh, famous play will pe- keep going on and on. Yeah, that's. Uh, they not the poli- wait. The they politics not- for that is just like yeah. I don't know, man. And I was like, 
So that's something. I understand, like, why is there FGC politics? Why this favoritism? It's like, help me out here, Common Breaker 2019. Hashtag Common Breaker. Help me out, Rick. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to understand, like, yo, um, what? <laughs> like, that should not happen. And I was like, and I, I, I know one of your people who work, usually work at tournaments and work at Common Breaker, explained to me just, like, hey, no, that's how, pretty much just sums up that's how it is. And I'm like, no, that's not sure how the B is. It should not be like favoritism towards nobody. It yeah, should not yeah, be at all. It should be like, okay. It's all fair game. It's all fair game. If you late, you out of here. Sorry. Mm-hmm. No, you can't be like, oh, well, you pulled hold my spot. Dude, you hold up the tournament for 45 minutes. Uh-huh. <laughs> And pretty, and pretty much you was taking selfies in the bathroom, for goodness <laughs> sake. That what the, uh. So you telling me, boy, yeah. you pretty much were 45 minutes late to your pool and you still uh. advance. How did that make sense? <laughs> Look, I played in tournament. I was only 10 minutes late. But, and you advanced. And I advanced. <laughs> Granted, my opponent never showed up at well, uh. so I advanced on that note. But still, though, I should have been disqualified. You should have been. Though. I should have been, but I did not. But then again, that was like kind of just an underground, like yeah, that was real. Much, that was a, that. No, that, I don't, mean, that it's was, just it was like it was not organized. So that not, tournament it was not like an actual. It was not fighting. It game. was not. It was not a. Um, <laughs> it was not a major. Professional. It was not a it minor. It was. A, it was a casual, like yeah, fine tournament. game tournament. It was a casual fine game tournament. They yeah. was disorganized. I can tell. Uh huh. They didn't have their stuff together. Same way at another convention that happened a week, uh, week, be- uh, week prior. What is it with you and Tekken uh, that just brings out the worst in people? So, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, they, it should have been better. It should have been the T.O. should pretty much. And also, they, also the guy, bless this guy's heart, bless Rising Dragon's heart. For saying like, well, if the player agrees upon waiting for the president, no, he did not. <laughs> he did not uh, agree. If I say he agreed to wait for it, then okay. But if the T, it's up to the TO to we say like, hey, do you want to wait? Well, you gotta see what TO is. Some people don't know. Uh, the t- t- nah, okay, this is the the tournament organizer and the like, pretty much the person who owned the bracket, like who yeah. who's owned the pool, who's pretty much run the pools. And people like TO like t- time out. No, no, <laughs> like, 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 oh, Orange knows. So pretty, much, <laughs> so pretty much the person who organized the pools, who's in charge of the pools, yeah. who pretty much who keep on uh, like if you win, you have to go to that person like yeah, I'm one, blah, blah blah, and he mark it down so you can move to the next round or so. If you lose, then the winner is supposed to go up there and say, "Hey, no, this yeah. person won." Sometimes, a hey, sometimes some slick shit. Sometimes, sometimes the loser will go up there and be like, "Yeah, I won," and then walk away. And then the actual winner be like, "What the fuck? Why I'm in losers?" <laughs> wow. Because sometimes some people be on that shady shit. Trust me, I have seen it happen many times. Wow, that's so. That's because funny, a actually. sometimes like some people try and quick and be flex all about that shit. That's why I feel like too. Like so you can easily do that, but yeah. Then- you just be like, no, man. Because sometimes the winners sometimes go off and talk to their friends, uh-huh. and be like, "Yo," as I, I call up people, like, "Yo, talk to the, talk to this guy because you know <laughs> that ain't right." Yeah, and y'all just in case. Yeah, like uh, that's what's, uh-huh. what's going on here. This is yeah. insane. <laughs> because sometimes, the, because sometimes the people, the it's not truth. organized. Sometimes they're nervous. Sometimes they be like, "Oh, um, sure." And this guy here. I was fucking watching other matches and shit, and and I was sitting there like, my guy, you supposed to be organizing this madness over here. Why are you in the <laughs> other pool watching other people matches and watching the stream? <laughs> Why are you over in the corner like, oh man, this match on the stream, this could be a good match. No, fam, keep your shit organized over here. <sighs> but you know what? Overall, I enjoy. <laughs> overall, I enjoy Common Breaker 2019. Um, I feel like bad fun. for my friend Tom Savage, who pretty much got screwed like that. And hopefully, uh, hashtag Common Breaker 2019, someone can pretty much explain explain to me. Um, broken hex ground here. Explain to me how this. Or reply it and then to the you no know, podcast be like I don't know just be like hey um at TDPOTI podcast <laughs> yeah be like hey this how it happened blah 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 stuff like this uh-huh. cool yeah well there you go but let's talk about another convention oh, ASIN <gasps> Booyah Booyah Kasha my bros 
So, so this was a re- this is like I said I, for the most part I've been going to I've been with different people for the past almost all the time I've been <laughs> at Asin. The first year was with you get with you and the, the regular crew. Uh huh. And then that then it was you with the regular crew with my sister. Mm-hmm. And that was when she joined. Well. Which well, it was. I think we were which the, sisters? It was multiple the old, sisters. The oldest, yeah, one, the mm-hmm. producer, yeah. Which I don't know what the state of that is, but anyways, <laughs> <laughs> we are now the producers now. Yeah, we're the producers now. Um, starring Mel Brooks. Anyways, uh-huh. <laughs> uh, so it was when we were at the Aloft. Aloft was all right. Then I think that's when after that was was it over? Oh, no, we went we went back to we went to the Hyatt, and that was currently my favorite time. Oh, so it was there. the um. It was the one the, the Hilton before. So it was the Hilton. The first time the I've first ever thing, been there. First, first year was the Hilton. Uh-huh. Second year was the Hyatt. No, I think it was the Aloft, then the Hyatt. Oh, uh, the Aloft, then the Hyatt, then the Aloft again. Uh, you were at the Aloft again, or did you... I'm pretty sure you were with your friends during that time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, <laughs> so you were in room three times? With you guys? Yeah. Was yes. the last... The, was the, the last, last year... one was Hilton. The last one no, we were all no. together. Last year was not Hilton. No, no, no. no, no, no. The Hyatt. The yeah. Hyatt. That's the last year was the Hyatt. That yeah, was the last year was the Hyatt when all all the regular crew was mm-hmm. together. And then I room with Todd. Yeah, that next year. That we, next year. Got back at the Hyatt. And then the year after that, it was. It was with us in because uh, we went to the uh, the uh, Double Tree. No, no, across the Double Tree. On uh, the uh, Crown. The Crown. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were at the Crown. I was at the Crown twice. No, so no, yeah, yeah, the crown, yeah, what's the crown, and then that's it. Then you then came, I'm, I came, I migrated over to you guys. Yep, you which came is to kind the of dark funny. side, <laughs> <laughs> to the right side. Uh, because I only had a taste of what you guys are like, uh, behind the doors. Because mm-hmm. I'm always o- only there for like five minutes, looking at everyone, and he's like, I'm ah, like, hey, hey to... what's up, guys? Mm-hmm. All right, I'm out of here. <laughs> it looks fun. I mean, mm-hmm. you, when, you, when you guys are in there, everyone's always kind of like just loudly talking everyone's like oh yeah well, well whatever man mm-hmm. <laughs> you know so i'm just kind of like more of i look inside I'm like oh, that's cool i'm out now mm-hmm. <laughs> and for the most part i'm kind of just for the first year i was there when it's with the regular crew i was kind of like you know i had to get used to it mm-hmm. and all that stuff i was like oh man this is how it is huh? that's kind of cool so i was kind of a bit more like oh man i gotta be cautious about doing certain things yeah. or whatever uh-huh. but by the time the second one, uh, second one went wrong uh in the loft i was more mm-hmm. like okay I got used to it comfortable. I was like, mm-hmm. all right, I know how it is with people and all that stuff. Yeah. And this is the first time in a long time where I felt like this is, I wasn't, I wasn't uncomfortable. I was like, this is kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> like, with, with, like, I mean, like the, with the situations or just like with, how, with stuff. how it is basically. Mm-hmm. Cause like, like I said, for the most part, regular crew was chill. Everyone mm-hmm. was like, oh yeah, we're just relaxed. Yeah, relaxed. And, we'll mm-hmm. sit back, play a couple games. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just going to be fun. We're going to, just hash it out and have some fun. And then mm-hmm. when I was with a weird uh, no-name crew, <laughs> when I was the first time with the Crown, I was again. It was they were mostly chill. But I, was, I felt out of place. Like, yeah, I don't know if I should have been here. <laughs> like, mm, no, uh, mm-hmm. felt kind of weird. Mm-hmm. And when it was back to the old crew, it was just me, you, and my sister, and my other, mm-hmm. and then the other person, person that mm-hmm. was there. Still, I was more like, yeah, here's how it is. Mm-hmm. But I'm just like, like, they were still again, just chill. They were mm-hmm. like, not like this, but this, not, it's not a chill. They were, everyone was like. On a hype, like, yeah, man, this is great. All right, this is cool. Mm-hmm. And this is the most time I've ever spent a long, extended time with your other friends. Yeah. Because you know? I've never, ever done that before. Mm-hmm. Uh, probably that one time when we went to uh, the Chinese food but, place. Yeah, which they always tell me stories about that. It's like, <laughs> you know, they say, like, you know, Joe, man, Joe can really tear down that food. I just like, I know about the story. It's been almost 10 years. <laughs> and y'all still talk, not 10 years. No, like, it's like, like, been like wow. over five years. And he's yeah. like, that tea house, man, he, sm- he smashed his food and then smashed your food. <laughs> and you still want it more. I said, yes, I know his appetite is a uh, appetite destruction. Like I know this. Roses. I know. I, I, I know, okay? Yeah, I was but, there. I was there. <laughs> Um, but it, let's it, start from the beginning, though. So we um yeah we were staying we at the, the Hyatt. We stayed at the Hyatt. So we got there right. So we was traveling. We was traveling to the Hyatt. And no, no. Well, first of all, I I, I worked that Thursday. Mm-hmm. So I was like, oh man, oh I'm so happy. I was like, because I've been working for like the past week before that. I'm just like, I just want to fucking go. I am ready and raring, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I was like, all right. And then that day came. I went to work in the morning. Did all my stuff. And I was like. Once it was like one o'clock, I'm like okay, Julio, I gotta go. You know, mm-hmm. I know I know I was gonna stay here till two, but I want to go. He's like, yeah, sure, go ahead. Mm-hmm. He's like, thanks a lot. So I texted Lauren saying like, 
are you gonna are you have you left yet mm. no mm. i'm like and my mom like okay that's weird <laughs> because usually you guys are there at 12 at least that's from what you tell me <laughs> so it's already starting off weird i'm like that's the whole thing the whole weekend was just weird <laughs> <laughs> it was weird but he goes to the thing is why because a todd on my end todd didn't wake up uh-huh Wake up! He woke up around twelve, and they still was trying to get. They still was getting his stuff ready. Uh-huh. So I'm like, okay, well, what time you guys go be there? And it's like, well, not too sure because we still got all this stuff here. So okay, so <laughs> everything is like pretty much just they no, they last minute doing things. Some people are like, oh, I'll go be there at five because I'm still at work. No, I'm still at work. I'm like, okay, well, Joe, me and Joe's ready. Yeah. Oh, okay. We just let good. just let me know when y'all get get there. And then Joe's like, "Hey, you need a ride?" I'm yeah. Just like, like, you might as well. Yes, I do. <laughs> and then uh, when they said, "Okay, we like twenty minutes out," and um, we was like right there, so I'm like, "Oh, let's just go to the casino." Yeah, we did a little pit stop mm-hmm. at the casino. I was like, "Ah, eh, fuck it." I, I, we don't want to go there, sit around and wait, like mm-hmm. uh, sit in the lobby with like eight bags. <laughs> like, yeah, eight bags <laughs> and stuff like no, and, like but, you know, just groceries mm-hmm. everywhere. And so stuff. like, no, what? Then they was like, okay, we here, so we pull in. On boat, on low west stuff, and then this guy at the hotel was like, "This car needs to be moved." I'm like, oh, "We didn't even talk about where we were at the the um the casino." Oh, I'm not gonna get into that. But we were just stuff. in there. I, we was just in there walking. We did a quick lap. Yeah, and that's it. Basically, we just were, a quick lap. We make it sound like oh, I lost so much money. No, I, <laughs> you lost I, like a thousand dollars. No, we so yeah, twenty million dollars. Yeah, you we, you we, bet the house on yeah, it. I, I bet like, the house on everything because I wanted to own the casino. <laughs> now I'm in debt to the casino. Yeah. I gave them a fake name. My name is on Alex uh, <laughs> Perez. Oh, God. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, so, yeah, we left. We go there. Mm-hmm. So, we we got there pretty much around the same time when they got there. Yeah. Because we saw them. Like, oh, there they are. Mm-hmm. All right. And we started unloading stuff. And then Joe went, like, to help them out. And the guy was like, hey, this car needs to move. Like, okay. Like, I just yeah, the called hotel the staff. Uh-huh. I told him. And the guy was like, the car needs to move. I say, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you told me this already, like, five seconds ago. I just called the driver. He's on his way. He's going to get this car. But he can't park right here. We just had a car right here to park. I know. That's a that's the thing. I was yeah, like, like it's... what is your problem, man? Nah. The car needs to go. I was like, I was like, I'm sitting there like, oh, this guy, <laughs> this boy here about to get hurt. <laughs> this man here, this grown man about to get hurt so bad. Say it one more time. I give you one more time. I'm gonna snuff your ass out, fam. <laughs> then you finally came. Like, okay, cool. Let me get. Yeah, you were out. immediately like, yeah, just, just keep moving the car. I'm like, okay, uh-huh. well, well, this is weird because I had because when I was in there, I was mm-hmm. looking for your friend. I was like, mm-hmm. where is he? I'm like, oh, there he is. And I had the bag and everything. I was like, should I just leave this here? Is like, mm-hmm. are they gonna take it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's the thing. Like, I don't know what, if I just leave it in the middle of the thing. I, that's why I told him like, mm-hmm. okay, I'm gonna leave that there. Hopefully Lauren will find it. I mm-hmm. told that. <laughs> so I told to him. Yeah. And so I left inside there, and I drove the car, and I parked in a spot, and uh, I I walked all the way from the hallways and and backs. Uh, yeah, back mm-hmm. ways just mm-hmm. to get back. I'm like, that's why I got the message. We're in room uh, lucky number eleven. Uh, yeah, lucky number eleven. Yeah. Shouts to eight oh seven. So um. So yeah, I was like. Oh, we, so I so we it. got there. Everything else, and everybody like, okay, let's unload. This is, this goes to this room. This goes to that room. Yeah, so blah, you blah, got blah, two blah. rooms. Two rooms. Which is the first mm-hmm. time ever I had to experience that too. So mm-hmm. I was like, hey, that's actually kind of cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All this room to maneuver. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> no, so pretty much, everybody just sit there and relax. And like, okay, badge pickups at this this time. We're like, okay, cool. Well, we had to also like they brought like so much food. Yeah. <laughs> they were like no yeah and that's when they like, brought food yeah and mm-hmm. that's the first time ever i had to experience that too <laughs> yeah because i'm just like holy crap you guys have a lot of stuff here <laughs> you're like what this is okay yeah I'm that's like... see and that's why i stole it when i did that one time i was like i'm still in the idea of pretty much with food uh-huh. that's why i say like, okay who's bringing stuff here like yeah. during mean times and everything else and that and that's again that's the first time i ever had to like not go to either the um mall the or mall McDonald's. or mcdonald's mm-hmm. Because it was always food at yeah, the room. The mall is like, it was it's cool. Okay. It was yeah. cool to go there just because, like, okay, you can go there. But mm-hmm. if you wanted to get some little bit expensive sausages and from food trucks, mm-hmm. you could do it. Just like, like I don't want to walk. Yeah, <laughs> you know. So you can just like, ah, okay, sure. So I was like, hey, look at that. I don't have to go all the way over there. Yeah, and then they was <laughs> like, cut some time mm-hmm. out of here. And they're like, oh, we're cooking breakfast at this day and blah, yeah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's, that's, I was like, holy and, crap, you guys are doing that? <laughs> you're like, what? How did this happen? Because they got here with the dance. I give Todd and, like, and all the people in the room, like Michael, 
Stetson. Well, Mike Andreas. wasn't Mike wasn't there until like later. You know, no, no, I talked about like oh. for the whole weekend who oh, pretty yeah. much that planned yeah, it out. Yeah, shout out to them. Like, you guys are the best. <laughs> who planned out like yeah, who's bringing the uh, rice cooker? Who's bringing the the electric skillet? All that stuff here because you no, know, they go cook everything, so it save time and like oh yeah, just like with the you know, not sandwiches but like eggs and bacon and all that stuff there. Yeah. So it's like oh man, it's that's a full, cool. It's a full course meal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, Anyways. so pretty much no, and then like okay, they go get their badge badges like okay, cool, and yeah, then we went to get our badges. It's just smaller weight, but that's fine. Yeah, and talk to and uh, they, it's funny too because we saw them, and then I was just like, oh yeah, dead pixels, and they're like, oh yeah, I actually know you guys are mm-hmm. like, yeah, like yay. I it's like, like feeling, we shouldn't. I like feeling recognized. <laughs> yeah, I feel like recognized. We always be involved in this convention. <laughs> yeah. One exactly. way or another, but we like to thank uh, Sarah, Sarah, and Eric, yeah. all the, all the press, Ace and Bash, for let us cover this wonderful convention once again. Yeah, it's getting thank big. Thank you so much. It's got, it's getting big. Yes. you'll hear more of that in the official mm-hmm. Ace and one with the interviews with the Synergy mm-hmm. group. So it it was pretty much a big, big. Yeah, it convention. got big. It's got like mm-hmm. this. Maybe like. If it one give it like another couple of years, it'll be like Anime Expo big. I had to say, I say this year. I'm not sure about the numbers. I say it's close. It was close to forty. Yeah, forty k. It's got a lot of people. Mm-hmm. You felt it too. Yeah. Like damn. Mm-hmm. So let's, let's uh, it. let's see. So yeah, we were we got, we got the badges. They gave away uh some high dive bags. And yeah. All that stuff and the thing got some cool. You know, lanyards, you mm-hmm. saw your friends. Like you have, yeah. again, it's just like that weird thing. Like, you know so much people. How do you do this? <laughs> You're not the only person who keeps saying that. <laughs> like, exactly. how do you know so many people? Like, I just know a bunch of people. People just know my face. Like, hey, that guy. <laughs> like, hey, what's up? Um, blah, blah, blah. Just talking. Yeah, just talking Bump to into him. Lando. What's up, Lando, once yeah, again? Yeah, he's, uh, check him out on YouTube. Yeah, check him out on YouTube. Now, Lando Blau, yeah. Jr., uh, so mm-hmm. yeah, he was working as like the one of the staff. I think. Yeah, he's working as staff, so he was working as customer relations. Yeah, so he was cool. the working with uh, no guest relations, guest relations. Yeah, because so. he was like what directing the guests or something. Yeah, or? Well, like, when if they need to be like into yeah. a little you no, know, and they you no know, lunchable room, like when they sit lunchable, the, not lunchable, <laughs> like when like the eating area, he's like there, like sitting guard, make sure there's no normies being there. No normies. Uh-huh. Like, who are you? Oh, yeah. not staff. Get out of here, kid. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, it was cool seeing him because he's like, oh yeah, yeah, they know him. Like, yeah, we're the sa- we're like the group to uh, dead pixels. You know? <laughs> he's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, yep, like, that's cool. Uh-huh. Like so, that. um, so then that Thursday we went to see John Wick. John Wick. We go talk. Three. We go talk about that at the ASIN. Oh yeah, we're gonna separate. It yeah, last- go separate. Remember it. last time we did like, oh, let's talk about Deadpool two now. Okay, fine. We'll talk no, about we Deadpool. we go separate. And, we go keep and, okay. it. So yeah, after uh-huh. John Wick three. After John Wick three. We no, so when I was walking to, he goes the tragic thing when we was walking to. Oh yeah, ASIN, so my here's the thing. knee, yeah, buckle. Yeah, here's the thing that mm-hmm. you were the some of the downfalls. Mm-hmm. It, it was the weather was weird. Oh yeah, like, was, when I said that it was a weekend of weird, that's what it was. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the week, the that Friday, oh well, Thursday and Friday was like cold as hell. It's mm-hmm. so, like what, like sixty, fifty degrees. Yeah, I'm like, wow, that's that's kind of uncomfortable. Then mm-hmm. Saturday was eighty, and also it rained the entire weekend we were there. Yeah. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and even Sunday when we left. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm like, and Sunday then was hot, then it was raining. Yeah, it so. was weird. Yeah. So yeah, that was also then the other downfall when we were going to John Wick three, you you just did a sm- small move like let me just get oh, uh-huh. <laughs> and then it was that was it. Uh-huh. <laughs> so yeah, you mm-hmm. buckled your knee. I buckled my knee, and I'll tell you, having bum knee for a three day con yeah, is it not started, fun. It was at the beginning. It was like Thursday. Like, Damn. <laughs> and I was in there like my knee hurts so much. <laughs> I was like, we're gonna see John Wick, that's fine. And I just walk and uh, walking from the Hyatt to uh the theater yeah. was like a little way a little little walk because there's no it's not a straight sideways walk. It's just like walking grass and walking the street. It's not <laughs> like no just driving there, drive boom boom boom. But no, we walk over there, I'm sitting there like like walking to the, oh it's just my knee so I just need to rest and I, like just sit down and be fine. And as soon as I sit down I said, like, Okay, everything's good and then once the movie was over and I was walking to there like my knees start acting up again. Like, oh no, uh, this is this ain't not happening. This ain't it cheap. Like, this is not gonna be it right now. Uh-huh. But uh then got back to the room 
No, a by talking. Everyone's going uh, all out. No, all well, out. Well, they all went to see Detective Pikachu. They went to see the packet on no, de- defective de- Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> eclectic Pikachu. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so they enjoyed they, they it. They enjoyed it. So yeah. I'm like, I mean, okay, cool. I mean, you pretty much will have to. Yeah. So because they were still playing Pokemon Go, which I'm like, y'all still playing Pokemon Go? Uh, Pokemon Go is <laughs> still 2019? going. <laughs> there was a Pokemon Go <laughs> I tournament. I was saying like, wow. Mm-hmm. I, I thought it was dead. I'm no, like, it's alive. It's alive. Well, well. Uh, yeah. but let's go P- Pokemon. Let's go Pikachu. Yeah. That is a game that you could enjoy. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. I, of course, I'll enjoy it because I already mm-hmm. played that game. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, but, um, everyone's in there. Everyone's in there. I think that's the time when was Mike that during? Yeah, Mike was there. Mike was, was he there when we left or when he? Or, uh, or he was already there. Maybe he was. I think he when we left to get our badges, he wasn't there. But when mm-hmm. we came back, he was. There. He was there. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, so we just chilling. Smooth groove, yeah. as I call him. <laughs> we we just chilling this and that, and then we went to sleep. Then we well, that night up. it was fun because everyone was just arguing about fun stuff. Yeah, <laughs> fun stuff. All the arguments, same Yeah, because it was like around midnight. You mm-hmm. know, everyone's still talking about stuff like, "Oh yeah, man, and you can do this, and then the mm-hmm. Rumble Cop, blah 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 blah." And I'm like, "Oh, this is fun." <laughs> <laughs> just I'll me sitting you. back, like, "Oh, this is great." <laughs> <laughs> and then like it was the wrong mm-hmm. Robocop. I was like, "What the? Fu-? I was talking about." I said, "Robocop was a satire. The original Robocop was a satire. Uh-huh. The director who." I forgot who's the director of mm-hmm. Robocop, but he did the Richard Robocop was a satire of an action movie because uh-huh. it was a dumb satire. Look at those commercials all in between that. I buy that for a dollar. That was all satire. <laughs> uh-huh. He's a he was the same guy who did Starship uh, Troopers. Uh-huh. That same director did Robocop. Yeah. And Starship Troopers was a satire of all dumb action movies about killing the aliens, all that stuff. Yeah, it was. If you rewatch the, I think I will have I have appreciation of Starship Troopers because yeah. I liked it beforehand, but people hated it. I was just like, this movie's good. It's like <laughs> a lot of people didn't get the joke. though. Yeah, it was a joke. Like everything was. It's over top a, it's, joke. A, it's a parody of it, like. Yeah, it's a parody. You had Neil Patrick ha- Harris. Uh-huh. Looks to dress as pretty much as a Nazi, <laughs> as a blonde Nazi yeah. with psychic powers. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. What? And talk to animals like go by the mom to a <laughs> ferret, to a fucking ferret. And you telling me that like there's nothing at all, but people hate that shit. So I'm like, okay, well you guys just don't know. T- you don't know good shit. You don't know good shit right here, right here, right here. Ah, uh, so yeah. Uh, so we all fell asleep and we all moves. fell asleep. Uh, we woke up at 7? Yeah, because yeah, it was just like, it's uh-huh. time. <laughs> it is time. Woke up at 7. And then we just sit there like, okay, plan out the day. Yeah. Plan this and this day out. X, yeah, because yeah, the thing is, usually JoJo has like two meet up, meetups. Mm-hmm. One Piece usually has two meetups. Marvel usually has two also. Yeah. But then the, the, it got to the point where there's a lot of like people in small groups and uh, cosplays and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Where you couldn't have two of any, anything because yeah. then it would take up someone else's thing. Yeah. So so like, they all did that one. Yeah, they just had one. Mm-hmm. And if you didn't make that one, man. <laughs> you know, like, well, like, sorry. And they also did it all that inside now. Yeah, it's all inside. Inside. So, Higo Hod liked the, how they break it down, which it was somewhat confusing at first. Yeah. So, they all had it at the pretty much inside. Stu- in the Donald Stevenson even. Convention Center. So. There's the dealer's room was in no one side, one side, east side, the, the west a, side, west side, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, no, that's east. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Like south, well, whatever. At one one side of the dealer's room, <laughs> in the middle, it was the artist alley. Yeah. Then the next side over was the game room slash cosplay slash cosplay uh, shoot uh, photo shoots. And also arcade further down the back where the oh yeah game are. room arcade room uh-huh. awesome. <laughs> so they all had that in one section. The board games rooms was downstairs in the, at the Hyatt as it like, should be. as should be. <laughs> and I have to say is that room is fine. Yeah, like uh-huh. playing, I like being in the board game yeah. room, man. But like I'm like you know because a that's like where's Hall F? Where's Hall F? We keep saying that's we was, was like, like where's Hall F? Because I've never heard to hear of Hall F like yeah. Hall F like mm-hmm. I've never heard of Hall F here. Yeah, I always know like is it the one on top? <laughs> yep. 
Because every time I've been there, that's the thing too. Every time I've been at Asin, the game yeah. room has changed every single time. <laughs> exactly. So like every year it changes. So I'm like, what the hell? Where's Hall Elf? And they said, no, Hall Elf is on this side. In the beginning, it used mm-hmm. to be inside the hotel. Yeah, it used to be inside the hotel. Then they went back into the... And no, it used to be in the hotel. Then it moved to the, the Hilton yeah. at that one year. Yeah, that and one then, year. And then it went... Up, it was upstairs. It was upstairs. And this, and this Going Stevenson. to the lobby. Yeah, going to the lobby. And then it moved to where the high the Skyway was. Uh-huh. And I'm like, well, yeah, to well, Yeah, to the Skyway with the other the, uh, ball, ball, uh, in the ballroom. It was yeah. in the ballroom. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, it's downstairs. Now it's Hall F. And Which Hall I feel F. like it should stay there. I think it's a good spot. Yeah, I think it's a good spot. It's a great location spot <laughs> yeah. for that. Don't move up to the ballroom again because I <laughs> just think, no. Yeah. No, I think the smell cannot take it. <laughs> wow. The smell cannot take it at all. Anyway, so yeah, we so, we started our Yu Yu Hockey Show mm-hmm. <laughs> cosplay. That was fun. I yeah, like that a lot. It was. It was like a lot more Yu Yu Hockey Show than I anticipated. Yeah. So it's just actually kind of cool. I'm like, mm-hmm. holy crap, that's great. Yeah, yeah, a lot. There was some cool balls. There was a bunch of different use cases. Yeah. Which I was happy and about. He-A's. And he is all A by love he yeah. and a lot of bomas, which I was unexpected <laughs> to see. I, it's it's just weird to me like wow in this in 2019 that's kind of, mm-hmm. that's kind of cool that's what yeah. I have to say it's like because you're twenty something year old anime yeah uh-huh. still making its rounds uh-huh. inside the <laughs> Asian community yeah. so I was like yeah all right I mm-hmm. like it so yeah we walked around we walked around get used to the spots okay boom 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 yeah we went inside the dealer's room again and still mm-hmm. like wow there's a lot of stuff yeah there's a lot of stuff in this room and then I went by the artist alley layer just like there's a lot of good yeah there was stuff. like three rows of artist alley because usually mm-hmm. it's like Two? <laughs> yeah, usually, yeah, usually it's just two, but it's like three rows. Actually, it was four. It was four, yeah. Uh-huh. It was four So I'm like, rows. God damn, you guys mm-hmm. got artists. <laughs> and that's good. That's good. You Support gotta... your local artists. Yeah, so mm-hmm. that was fun, though. We mm-hmm. walked around. We are just like, all right, this is how it is. Because we had like the 12 o'clock yeah. New Hawk show. You know? mm-hmm. <laughs> and yeah, we would we were just walking around. And then by that time, uh, it, that meeting started. And I think I was at somewhere else. Because you... Yeah. We're hanging out with your friends too, and yeah. we split at that moment. Mm-hmm. We split because my other fans was like need like some help, and I was like, yeah, I agree to like just give them my help around and whatnot. Mm-hmm. But the funny thing was, so my friends' room they was in seven fifty eight. They was in that room, and uh, we stay in l- yeah, some lucky number l- l- num- lucky number elevens. <laughs> no, uh, we'll pick three seven seven seven. <laughs> God. Fireball uh. five hundred times. <laughs> Five dollars. <laughs> straight box. Straight box. Anyways. No, I can't do a straight box on that. Well, that's cool. I mean, that, that there were in the so, same yeah, floor. So, yeah, like, so, yeah, same floor. So, I didn't have to, like, travel up and down. Yeah, you didn't have to go all the way to the west and or go, or go to the... Which was good on my knee. Yeah. Because, A, I was just sitting there, like, was, oh, man, I just did that. And my friend, uh, Casey, gave me a, little, a great advice because, like, she does yoga. Uh-huh. And she's like, I think you said, hey, what you do if you have knee problems? I think you need to do these exercises. <laughs> wow. And I was like, okay. And that helped out in like in the morning. Like that Thursday, like that Saturday morning, I did those like quick exercises. I was like, okay. Mm-hmm. These are, that helped my knee out. Yeah. Tremendous fail. So shout out to her. Wow. That's pretty cool. So, but uh, that Friday evening was all. Well, you went to the Tekken. No, no, was... uh, yeah, that fight even I went to the Tekken tournament, mm-hmm. which that kind of was behind schedule because they didn't know how to do the schedule. Yeah, because it wasn't one. I don't know who run who ran that one. I I thought it was the regular people, but apparently it was another. Yeah, so like, it was a new group. Mike. It was a new group, low Man. kick, like um. Yeah, low, low kick, kick something. Yeah, right, something. And I was like, um, something's going on. Then nothing was was weird, and then. And check-in was weird, so I'm like, okay, this they taking too long, so I drew, roof drew myself out. But I said, okay, I'll be back for the Street Fighter tournament at, like, at 11. The next day. The next day. On Saturday morning. On Saturday morning. So I went. Wait, to... did we do anything Friday night? I don't even remember. No. Here's the funny thing. For the most part, I did not see you <laughs> the entire time. Yeah, Friday, Friday night, no, because Friday night, you was mostly with them. And I was no, I went, yeah, I went downstairs mm-hmm. and uh, saw your friends Aurelius and Mike playing uh, Gloomhaven. Yeah. Which is the... Biggest goddamn board game you can get. <laughs> yeah, how was that? Uh, I've already played Gloomhaven a mm-hmm. little bit, and it's a really involving and whatever type of game. Yeah. So they were playing it, and then they were just like, "All right, so I go in this room right here and do all that stuff." And I'm just saying, like, right now, like, all your friends are just, you're, they're like the El Pachon gang. They just got some the weirdest. <laughs> <laughs> they're just a weird quirk. I'm like, 
you're this type person. You're this type person. How are you in the same? <laughs> yeah, it's just like all y'all have eclectic personalities. This all should not work together, <laughs> but it does. Yeah, I know. How? I know. That's what I'm saying. Like you're the ill passion. <laughs> it's like how do all you guys are connected? Like you break it down. Like most of like, like Todd. Todd's like the pretty yeah. Much he's like the he was like the brains. He's, well, he's the one that ran the entire thing. Yeah. So like um, you got Todd here. And Todd's pretty much like, look, I just like to just relax. Yeah, yeah. So he's like, cool, stay in the room. Then got Jared. Jared is pretty much like, yo, man, I just enjoys yeah. anime. Yeah, cool. Yeah. He just chills around with his girlfriend. Max. Angry oh, yeah. Max. <laughs> the, the super chill man. The, the super <laughs> chill man. He's uh, like pretty much, um, I will not compare him to the dude. But yeah, he, I would say that's a good comparison uh-huh. to me. So yeah, he's like the dude. You're yeah, like, from yo, man. From, from, he's just like, yeah, I'm just... Just here, man. Just can play it. Uh, like if he's like got his like Indian system on connected to the internet, he's like, yo, got yeah. all this stuff connected here. Still got wired earphones. Uh, yeah, still got wired <laughs> earphones. He got Bluetooth. No, yeah. it's Bluetooth earphones. Uh, okay. But it's not. It's not. It's not at AirPods. Uh-huh. He got Beats. Uh-huh. So I'm like, yeah, little brother, I got AirPods, <laughs> and you got Beats. That means you need to step your fucking game up, Max. <laughs> and then there's yeah, Mike, uh, Mr. Smooth, smooth am I smooth? <laughs> <laughs> like, smooth or groove, who yeah. always smooth and always casual. I and mean, always don't get mad, but he always stay calm and cool, collected. Yeah. And then there's Arias. Who's you say, he's, you say he's Dr. A, but for most part, sound like he's really fucking cool. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, the coolest guy. Like I said, I call him Dr. Hate because he always had the, like some like some good hateful remarks. Yeah, but I always speak that real, and always he's a good friend. Yeah, and I always be like, always has something funny to say. Yeah, always, uh-huh. and just like like how are all these people bonded well, friends. You also forgot. I think it was Ivana. Ivana, I- Ivana, uh, yeah, Tim, Tim, the. Well, uh, Tim, I consider the most professional hobo is all time. <laughs> yeah, that that his hobo. name is his is actually his uh his tag is professional hobo, uh-huh. and I just thought that was hilarious. Yeah, like he's like yeah, professional hobo. I was just like <laughs> that is the most what <laughs> and yeah. okay sure, but then like so I go tell you so I go tell you a hilarious story real okay. quick guys. So um, <laughs> so you know how Asen is talking about like hey that's um the smell mm-hmm. no please take a shower. Well, yeah, that's like a running joke for all cons. Actually. That's one joke for all cons, but people's like, yo, you really need to take a shower at you know, these different yeah. conventions. At, uh, at Common Breaker. Some people fucking smell at Common Breaker. <laughs> yeah. Mean, some of them fucking smell. Yeah. Smash like... players fucking smell. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so Tim's like, yeah, I'm already fresh. <laughs> like, I'm always, but I always smell good right now. And Max's like, motherfucker, you ain't. <laughs> motherfucker, you been sleeping right here next to me. <laughs> How are you? Because they say, oh, Lauren, like, they're like, oh, Lauren and Joe didn't probably take a shower. I was like, I actually did. I washed up before they I left. That? I don't know. Yeah, but they, like, joke, like, oh, like, this and that. And I'm like, I, always, I took a shower. I was first one up. Yeah. And, like, I rent bathroom, did my things, wash up, blah, 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 and <laughs> just went out. And, he, and, and Max funny. was like, motherfucker, no, you should not be talking. <laughs> it was just famous, like, your ass have been sleeping right here. <laughs> you should not be talking right now. <laughs> but uh, Max is always cool. I always enjoy yeah, Max. Everyone's got that type of person I'm mm-hmm. just like, we're just going to joke. It's uh-huh. all jokes. It's all jokes. Don't, don't take, take it anything don't take seriously. Anything seriously. Yeah. It's all jokes. And I appreciate uh-huh. that. This whole like, oh, we got to be careful. With what, mm. what Before you how you, the things say, oh, sensitive, this and that, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> no, it's all like jokes. It's all 90s. Early two yeah. thousands, yeah. like hey, if you don't if you don't have a sense of humor, if you got like not yeah. a thick skin, yeah, your feelings will get hurt. <laughs> yeah, your feelings get hurt and be like, "What you say that stuff?" It's like, no, it's just a joke. You don't, <laughs> yeah, don't take it serious. Damn, <laughs> exactly. Like, yeah, man, calm down. Like, don't want to calm down, man. No, man, just, <laughs> no, don't get in fight. You want fight? No, <laughs> it's all jokes. Yeah, because I came back and they were cooking the, uh, I think. The, the what was it jambalaya uh-huh. <laughs> it was something like that the chili that's yeah. from what I can tell uh-huh. and I was like wow I actually have a, have a hot meal inside here <laughs> this is great because <laughs> I, I don't know what you did Saturday night but that's what I did I just went back to the room oh that was poor, um, poor chicken oh poor chicken because uh-huh. I saw uh-huh. you later on that Friday night too over at the the yeah. game room yeah I was there many different times yeah. the board game room board game room uh-huh. so, yeah you say that um, but yeah, I was I was hanging out there. They were playing um, Google. I was just sitting there watching them, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Yeah, this is cool. I like this," <laughs> you know. And yeah. then we they because they were doing Food Wars, mm-hmm. which I'm like, "That's really cool." 
I stopped watching it, but mm-hmm. I, I like the fact you guys are still doing this. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh-huh. like there's like a big group thing. Like I mean, like the first couple of years of um the group they did like uh the uh, Final Fantasy uh, organization thirteen. That's pretty. Cool. They they was dedicated. Of, like four, like three of them, three or four of them did like four members of or uh, organization thirteen. They couldn't get yeah the thirteen. They can get nine more, but <laughs> like group cosplays, I was like, you know, that's cool. And Mike was like, yeah, I want to do a JoJo one. I was like, hey, for I'm. I'm Next year, if we're all good for doing JoJo, I'll be like, mm-hmm. yeah, I'll join in that thing right there. Yeah. I'll be, uh, what's that guy eats the gun- banana gun? Popo. <laughs> <Yeah>. Popo. <laughs> no. <I'm not laughs> yeah, you do. You want to do the popo. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be Black Sabbath himself. <laughs> Giorno. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, <laughs> but, so yeah, but Saturday, uh, yeah, went Saturday to the, we woke, went up, to, like, woke up, went to Street Fight five times. Yeah, because when you were there, I was doing the Tokyo Chrono uh-huh. stuff. Which, at, unfortunately, Tokyo Chronos didn't show up that time. Yeah. But, you know, it's like, hey, that's how, that's how it happens sometimes, mm-hmm. it's, you know? Yeah. And they, I paid, and they didn't put me down for the tournament. Mm-hmm. I was kind of like, not sure what's going on, but <laughs> okay. Second time in a row, huh? Second time in a row. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to let this ruin my weekend. Yeah, that's the thing, too. Like, I kind of didn't want a lot of yeah, stuff. Yeah, I don't want this to ruin my weekend. So, I was like, that's fine. just going to... Shake it off and continue on. Just be like, do yeah. whatever stuff. Hey, I'm not going to get into details, but it was getting spicy a couple times. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, man, <laughs> yeah. this is how it is, huh? <laughs> well, some spicy commentary. Yeah, I'm like, man, this is like, I guess it, I'm not uncomfortable, but this is like <laughs> stuff I can eat up and just be like, <laughs> like soup, mm, soup, popcorn, soup, huh? soup, <laughs> soup, 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 stuff. <laughs> but, um, but that evening was on the, the afternoon, because that evening, evening afternoon, uh, I was... Stopped by the room, ate some like the um pull um pull chicken pork. yeah pull chicken pull pork. <laughs> uh, and then I went back to my friend's room because everybody else was eating just chilling just relaxing. Mm-hmm. I was like, anyone go go down down there? There's like to the rave, and everybody was like, nah. Yeah, relax. no, I've only went to the rave probably once the mm-hmm. entire time, twice maybe, just to look at it. But I'm just like, eh, it's not fun. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> at least um, to me, yeah. you know. So I so. I uh, went to my group of friends. They have a little, like, and they was like, oh, let's just go to Rave. Like, okay, sure. And they went, we went, and they was like, nope. Mm-hmm. And my friend yeah, Missy well, was like. There was no line for a Rave this Yeah, there's no I, Rave. I, no usually line. there's, like, a line that goes around the yeah. block and all that. Nope. They're, they streamlined they it. They organized it. Yeah. So, so I'm like, like wow. I, yeah. Cool. And Missy was like, you know, it's kind of funny. Years ago, I used to have, like, a whole outfit. had this whole weekend planned for the Rave. Now I'm just like, eh, whatever. <laughs> Well, was like, your yeah. friend too. When we was when in, in the beginning crew was like all about wearing the oh Stephanie cat, and yeah, yeah. cat made yeah. Uh, and and like, she was like whole like oh the rave would be fun, but I'm pretty sure she's like no man no. That, that doesn't even feel like that long ago. 2013 mm-hmm. was like six yeah. years and yeah man <laughs> things change yeah the cold wind war blo- change cold wind blows am I mm-hmm. right? Wait, I don't know. 2014, 2013. I was not there. No, for, he was not there. I, no. Yeah, so. Five years. Yeah. <laughs> That's even shorter. Like, holy crap. <laughs> yeah, more change. Yeah, even more change. Like, holy boy. Because <laughs> uh, you were at the uh, the one that was like, yeah, past the blue line during uh-huh. that time. And... A little across the street from McDonald's. Oh, God. I cannot, I cannot imagine that. <laughs> yeah, those, that walk was not fun. Yeah. Especially when, if you were tipsy. No, because like, fun. the thing is too, it's like, you you, you want to go back to a couple times, like, just to sit back and relax, like, mm-hmm. you can't do that when you're... Yeah, you can't things. do that if you, like, if you're not staying at the main hotel. Yeah. You cannot. Or at least one across the street. At least that one. <laughs> but still, you had to walk. You go, I just kind of figured now that I said, just give me the Hyatt, a Hyatt, and that's it. Mm-hmm. Just let me stay in the convention, because it's just like... I yeah, can just go to the room. Shout out to your friend Todd, who can get a room at the Hyatt. Yeah. Because... <laughs> I don't know what kind of shady things are happening with that, too, where it's just like, oh, it's sold out the second it's out. Mm-hmm. Where I'm like, who's doing this? <laughs> yeah. Todd's fight for that. So yeah, I'm saying. Like, getting hey, props on that all yeah, the time. Yeah, so I'm like, that's good for him. Cause so, also. I don't, have, I don't have the energy for that. Yeah. Also, Ray freaking stink on the first floor. That's all I will tell you that right now. It, it stank. It stank so bad. Oh, I forgot to mention the first time I ever did uh, a Jinbei. From yeah. One Piece. Oh yeah, you did a gym. I didn't tell Saturday. anyone because mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, 
The thing is, I ordered it from online because like I don't have time to make something like this. Uh, okay. <laughs> I like I know I'm not gonna be able to do it, so I just got it from online and got it. So uh-huh. I was like, oh, this is worth it because <laughs> people loved it. Because you know mm. why? Because I was the only Jinbei over there. <laughs> nice. And t- people come walk by, it's like, hey man, nice Jinbei. I'm like, oh, that's cool. I like mm-hmm. this. And I went to the One Piece. I went to the Devil May Cry one. Mm-hmm. Because I'm into Devil May Cry now. <laughs> yeah, how was the Devil May Cry? It shoot? was cool. I was mm-hmm. like, damn, look at all these cool Nero's, uh, Dante's, and all that stuff. And new one, V. And Virgil. Mm-hmm. Virgil, V, mm-hmm. and uh, everyone in between. Was they, was they <laughs> motivated? Was Virgil motivated? Did they did any Devil May Cry memes? Was there pizza know. involved? Yeah, that oh. one guy had pizza. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, what was that? Uh, I don't, there's a new one for Devil May Cry, Dead Weight. I don't know if you know that meme. No. No, it was like, this, it's one that, it's like... Like, uh, Dante calls, uh, no, 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 wait, Dante, who's the kid again? <laughs> um, uh, Nero. Nero. Yeah, yeah. He call, Dante calls Nero dead weight, and get, mm-hmm. Nero gets so mad, he's like, he called me dead weight, and then that's what like, motivates him to <laughs> do that, and then there's just one, Dante is carrying a sign saying dead weight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, that's funny, I saw that. <laughs> Well, that's why I saw Dante carry dead weight. Yeah. yeah that's hilarious. <laughs> it's a good, it's a good deal with mm-hmm. Crack 5, I mean. A dead weight. I went to the Marvel one, which was pretty cool, because... Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the big ones this year, yeah, there was Marvel, mm-hmm. My Hero, of course, Overwatch. I mean, there was a, a little bit of sprinkling Overwatch, but not as much as it was yeah. a year before. Years past. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think, like, what was the big ones over there? I guess that was most, because it was kind of varied. There was, like, mm-hmm. a lot of things, like, just all over, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and the thing that was weird, too, is it didn't have a Street Fighter one. A, a uh, cosplay yes. one, you know? Yeah. Like, uh-huh. It was called Marvel vs. Capcom. That was yeah. the best one I saw over there. The guy yeah. dressed as the... Uh, <laughs> Marvel's Capcom 2 character select screen. Mm-hmm. You know, like, that's just weird. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, but that was a good one, though. That was a good one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. I was like, I'm going to take you for a ride. Yeah, the music, too. Didn't, didn't. I saw uh, Mr. X. <laughs> yeah. That was pretty cool. Oh, they had the, he, they had the music, or he just following no, people around? No, he was just himself. <laughs> First of all, he ain't 10 feet tall, so there's yeah. no way he can do that. <laughs> he, he's just like, well, 5 foot 9. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, um... Speaking of which, I'm already done with Claire's part, and I'm doing a second run through of Leon's part. Oh, I'm like playing the game like I'm just like okay, I gotta get through this game because uh-huh. I know well, I pretty much know everything now. So mm-hmm. like okay, let's do this. I like the second run through where it's like oh you're Leon doing you're Leon's you're doing Leon's part during Claire's story. Like oh that's mm-hmm. kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, you know because I like playing Leon more than I like playing Claire. <laughs> yeah, he's got uh, more health than <laughs> yeah more health. And how you like this other gun you get from Leon? Which right, one? Um, B side. Oh, the, the tan gun? Yeah. The one he holds like a gangster? Like? Yeah. <laughs> Hold like a gangster. <laughs> Which I'm like, why is he doing that? <laughs> uh, yeah. That's a good gun. It's very like powerful. Mm-hmm. All that. Which kind of feels bad because like, uh, there's no need to get bullets from Matilda if you're just going to keep yeah, like, exactly. doing this side right Like, here. sorry, Matilda. <laughs> Name after the, uh, the, the professional. Professional, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so anyways. Saturday, I, yeah, I didn't go to the rave mm-hmm. all, at all. So I was just like, I'm cool with doing mm-hmm. this, but you can hear it from the in, from the seventh floor. People are just like going nuts on the on the you know down there. Yeah, with the the pounding music and all that. Mm-hmm. I'm like, wow, this is cool. <laughs> yeah, and Sunday we checked out. I, yeah, because uh, Saturday I was with, for the most part in the beginning I was kind of walking with uh, your friends, mm-hmm. and then I was just doing with them like, oh yeah, we're doing. We went inside as we we're doing food wars also, and then. I was with them for a bit. I was mm-hmm. like, okay, cool. Then I just branched off because I had to do... The press application. The one with the Synergy people. Mm-hmm. The, the DJs. Yep. <laughs> so I was like, ah, this is cool. I like this one right here. So yeah, Sunday... Because the thing is, Saturday night also, I did the smart thing. Like, you know what? I'm going to take almost everything we have here, mm-hmm. at least like 70% and bring it to the car. Yeah. That way we don't have to worry about it in the morning. <laughs> yes. Good guy. Dude. It was like pre-planning right there. Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, it's good. I like that. Uh, yeah, Sunday came around, we're just like, let's just move some stuff, it'll help you move some stuff, but after that, at 12 or 11, we're gone. <laughs> yeah, which I did, yeah. uh, which we did, we helped Todd, they move some stuff to their car, which is funny, at one point it's like, we got food here, mm-hmm. like, we move it in, and we're just like, they move our stuff, <laughs> but food, get your food here, <laughs> um, we, they move our stuff, <laughs> get your food and be eating. <laughs> They help us move our stuff. <laughs> I was like, we we help and we go leave, so we're not going the same way you're going. We live we live around here. We live up north. <laughs> we don't live on the west side. Uh, yeah, it was but, uh, it was fun though. But yeah, so after I get dropped off, I took a nap and mm-hmm. then 
You went to some dude's house. I went to uh, one of my fo- uh, co-worker's house to record a podcast. He was a co-worker? I thought he was uh, just a random... I thought you told me, like, I'm going to some random dude's house. No, I was going to <laughs> the co-worker's, a former co-worker's house. And oh, he... Uh, and he uh, does a podcast. He has a That's podcast. Cool. Uh, Gotta keep the Chicago podcast scene alive. Yeah, so, you know, it's kind of funny because... When's your episode coming out? <laughs> uh, pretty much, I think, lay on this month. So, pretty much, this like... This month? Well, I mean, it? like, well, pretty much, I think this week or so. This week or, like, the first week of June. Wow. So, Get I... Get that backlog done. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Because us is like, oh, it's just gonna want the next day. <laughs> uh-huh. But, you know, have to edit and all the other stuff because it's a one-man team. So, what is... How is it like over there? What? It's just an interview? Just yeah, just an interview. So, uh, Wesley, uh, you know, the basement, I think the Basement uh, Diaries, uh-huh. that I'm trying to remember, yeah, the name of his podcast. So, he just had these two mics and had like these, like, it's just like a small studio mics and everything else. It's just like, um, it's just like connected. Like, I'm like sitting on the chair and he's on the other side. So, it's like just like talking, like an interview talking. And the, like the mics is in the middle of it and everything else. Oh, and really like cool. his um, laptop is like like on the side of him and everything else. It kind of like had like the Joe Rogan like oh, idea. Put that like, up, Jimmy. Huh? <laughs> put that up, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, put that up, Jimmy. But not like, hey, per- <laughs> meme. put that up, Jimmy. Wow, have you tried CPMD? <laughs> <laughs> you tried all this Joe Rogan uh-huh. memes. But no, it just like sit there and just, no, it was just more like. An interview, yeah, like true. how we is pretty much more conversational. Yeah, and we just like do this this podcast that I was involved. It was like the first time I got like did like a interview type of podcast, mm-hmm. and uh, it was, really shout us out. <laughs> yeah, I did. I, 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 yes, I did. I did. That'd be so funny. Like, uh, I, what else you do? Mm-hmm. Eh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing else. And it was just pretty much. The, uh, he would just ask me. He could ask me like, you no, know, just like con experience. Oh, he okay. asked me like, "Oh, well, no, just the, what's your stuff you do at a con, or how you plan this out, and like stuff like that." So I'm like, "Okay, well, sure, I'll explain." And then I had to like do a picture. Oh wow! Like pose like, "Oh, it's gonna be featuring guests, Lauren Jones." Hey, I think we should we should both be on there. <laughs> like this would be because we'll, they, like we'll how, crossover yeah, episode. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I can we can arrange something like that. Sure. But it's just it's so hard because I, know, I, saw, the, be, I like, saw the uh, the setup. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like it's basically just for one on one. It's gonna be hard to do two on one. Yeah. <laughs> Unless this is a one person talks. Unless you're doing this person. one right here, because this way we set it up, it's kind of yeah. easy for three people to talk at the same time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> does he use the same uh, audacity? Yes, he does. Hey, hey audacity, audacity MVP of the year. Yeah. <laughs> MVP, thank you, audacity. You are sponsored by us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, we recommend all people oh, man. use. Oh my god! So audacity. yes, uh, Asin again to me was really fun. Mm-hmm. For the w- different reasons, because mm-hmm. <laughs> because I just said like this has been a different experience for me because I'm always kind of just used to doing what I do, but having to have this Formula X thrown into this <laughs> and use this, I like it. Yeah. Give me more. Yeah. Give me more. They were appreciative of me there too. They were uh-huh. like, oh yeah, you guys are cool. I was like, I was like, yeah, you guys are great too. I want to go now because this is getting a little too weird and spicy <laughs> for me. <laughs> so, last thing, uh, two things we go talk about. Mm-hmm. Before, because before this podcast is going to be a little bit long. Yeah, to make up for the last week. Because um, we were dying last week. Yeah. Uh, John, John Wick, Wick 3. 3. Chapter Parabellum. That took... That knocked out Marvel. That finally did. Huh? Oh, yeah. And Marvel's number one. So, fuck you, Avatar. Oh. Uh, uh, thanks. But, Thank John, but, yeah. But John Wick. John Wick, Chapter 3. Chapter 3. And to say, start off hot. It started <laughs> off pretty hot. Here's the thing. I consider the entire trilogy basically just kind of one, one it, movie. It, it all happened in two weeks. <laughs> yeah, mm. so I don't say like, oh, I like part three better than part two. Like, I kind of like everything as a whole, <laughs> you know? Yes. Because yes. I, I feel like, I don't think they planned this to be a trilogy. But... I don't think so at all. <laughs> I the think it was one, just like the just first like... one. It's just like it'll be the first one. And a lot but of people it, like... But it came a smash hit. Uh-huh. And came smash like, like, you should make another one. Because people were like, we want to have good action movies. Uh-huh. Like, and you know we have good shot action movies. Yeah, where you can actually see things going on mm-hmm. and all that stuff. We want to see this. We yeah. will give you money yeah. to give us more information, more of this stuff, to so let us be involved in this hitman war because there was no really good hitman movie. When <laughs> the last time, like you could see James Bond as a hitman kind of, he's a yeah. spy, but. Yeah, when the last like time, yeah. huh? Not like this. <laughs> not like this. But when the last time that was a really good fuck hitman movie. Don't worry, I wait. And no, it's not the hitman. 47 movies. So. <laughs> uh, uh, 
a lot of people are saying the exact same thing about this movie. Mm-hmm. Um, when I hear when I see the reviews online and all that stuff, that they like the first thirty minutes of the movie. I agree with them. Like, yeah, it's a good movie, but mm-hmm. I still like the rest of the two. Yeah, a lot of people saying like, I don't like the everything else happens in the middle, in between, all, all this stuff. That's like, like it I all kinda, happens. I, I was like, I, I, I was like, I kind of just want it to be like that because mm-hmm. it's more of a movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it, it at least tells story, mm-hmm. and not gonna be like, oh, all this stuff. Like, hey, this had to be some substance for all this. Don't worry, this all will pay out towards the like towards the end. Yeah, mm-hmm. and. Yeah, of course, I'll say, like, yeah, third, first three minutes were, like, great. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. that's some of the best action I've seen in oh, a while. Oh, yeah, time. especially in the um, weapons, old weapon shop. Yeah. Oh, exactly. man. <laughs> the <laughs> library? <laughs> yeah, the library with a, a basketball player. Uh, yeah, um, like, Bogdan. Yeah, Bogdan. Bogdan. <laughs> like, huh? <laughs> um, yeah, but like I said, throughout the entire movie, I'm just like, this is, I like this. This is mm-hmm. fun. TikTok, Mr. Rick. TikTok. Uh, TikTok, <laughs> Mr. Rick. <laughs> TikTok. Uh,. The, it, ex- um, it expands the world because yeah. in the first movie it was you kind of had a feeling of like what the world was. Uh huh. It was just like it's just like things like nightclub. Yeah. Let's see, nightclub, some abandoned warehouse. Yeah. Um, streets. That's <laughs> yeah. it. And the second world, they started building more upon it. Mm-hmm. You got like suicide girls working for telephones and yeah, money system with coins, mm-hmm. a hobo system. <laughs> yeah, hobo <laughs> system with coins. Lauren Fishburne still being Larry Fishburne. Yeah. This high, consecrations. Yeah, I, I yeah. That's what I was mm-hmm. saying. Like I, I really liked it. That's what I think. All they have to say is that all the shit that John Wick he's first, supposed to be dead. He's supposed to be dead. <laughs> he's supposed to be like you know. If all this happened in two weeks, uh-huh. how are you still surviving? Yeah. How are you just not in the that's hospital? Completely the, like he's the Baba Yaga. That's why. Uh, why are you not in the hospital? Just like I am, just bruised up. <laughs> uh, you like you are like. This is what Max Payne is supposed to have been like right yeah, there. I know. Max Payne, so you know who should be John, who should be the next Max Payne? Keanu, Keanu Reeves. Reeves. That dude's he's been a, he's made a comeback. Well, even though he hasn't really left. Every, but but after hit, uh, the Matrix movies, uh-huh. he kind of was kind of like, eh. He just pretty much was like, okay, you know, just you no, know, a little bit started a little bit fair. Like, what happened to Keanu Reeves? Like, because it's shitty fucking movies. But then like. He slowly started uprising, then people, then people more started appreciating you know, Keanu Reeves. Like, yeah, I we really like Keanu Reeves. He can, only, he's the only one that can do the line delivery in this yeah. <laughs> movie, which is like guns. I'm mm-hmm. gonna need a lot of guns. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like no one else could say that. Like, you can't like thing. Sylvester Stallone. Guns. <laughs> you like guns. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. and. Or something like, and also the way he, that. the way, and all the way he stuff, it make it believable because you don't gonna see Specter Stallone doing for like jujitsu and shit like that. Yeah, he's too muscular and everything else. Keanu Reeves kind of look like the every man, so for he's a badass. Yeah, I like the fact that they brought in the people from the raid too. Mm-hmm. I saw them like this would make sense because mm-hmm. the other than the raid, the John Wick movies are kind of like yeah. Those primo actions things you exactly. want to see, <laughs> and that's what I love about it. Mm-hmm. I got a little bit of my feel with uh, the night comes for us, but you know, <laughs> yeah, I still need to see that. No, oh, it's it's on Netflix. You know what's coming else to Netflix? What the triple threat? Is it? Uh, no, that's why I'm asking. <laughs> I'm like, no, it's not. Oh. I wish though, <laughs> maybe I I still don't know what the status of that thing is though. It's out, been out. Well, Dark Knight's coming on Netflix. That's kind of weird. Really? Yeah. Um, they're well, of course they're getting Evangelion next month. Which I'm like, oh, cool. and every every boo go sing the song, go dance. They have the black man dancing in the background. Da, 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 da. Where does that mean came from originally? What the dancing guy or the the song? Uh, the the no the dancing, dancing guy. I yeah. have no idea, but it's a it's a it's a banger of a song. I gotta say, uh, yeah. So John Wick, it's yes. a movie that it's I like uh, every single one of those movies. Mm-hmm. It's just brutal action, you know. Yes. You get you get a reaction. You get like a good guttural feeling of like, ooh, ow, it hurts. Yeah, like, ah, <laughs> ah, ah, ah. You know, because if it wasn't for this, like, we still have weird close up action, shaky cam uh-huh. <laughs> type of thing, and it's like, eh, oh, this ain't good. <laughs> yeah, like the show ain't no good, and you just you know. Like turn off, like no, <laughs> no, sir, uh, you wrong. So, yeah, go watch John Chapter Three. Uh, mm-hmm. If you don't like the middle, it's kind of like I I don't know what you want me to do. Yeah, <laughs> it's 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 it is how it is. But the last thing we'll talk about before we go, and make sure to catch that ASIN review with with the re- interviews because this is the first time I'll ever have to submit one of these to like one of the main producer guys before. Yes, 
he's like, okay, it's all, it's all cleared. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, kind of interesting to hear, like, oh, you know, because for the most part, we've interviewed just voice actors. Yeah. This is the first time we were at the interview djs the people, yeah, people. and music producers because mm-hmm. that's what they call themselves you know music producers i'm like wow there you go because this has been like i said it's been a different weird ace in mm-hmm. <laughs> this year um what was i gonna say anyways uh the jojo yeah <laughs> last thing we'll talk about seven page muda <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, people wanted to be a little bit longer because inside uh stardust crusaders there was a three-page aura mm-hmm. with steely dan and so they thought like, oh, if it's seven page, that mean, that means it should be at least like forty five something seconds, mm-hmm. which I'm like, they could do that, but they won't because they want to make it nice and compact and clean, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know. Because if it went forty five seconds, I'd be like, yeah, it kind of goes on a little long. It should be. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a good episode though. Yeah. Because uh-huh. it's going close to the end. <laughs> yeah. Where I realize like, oh man, that means they only have like one more fight after this. <laughs> yeah. And that's against Diavolo. Mm-hmm. Which they say his name. Yeah. <laughs> Which I'm like, wow, was it really that? Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. And it's funny to be thinking, like, I used to consider the part five one of the worst ones for me. But I thanks, still understand wh- how. It was the reading it. When I read it, I was like, this is, uh, it's all right. <laughs> this how. It was better put into, like, motion and action mm-hmm. and animation. Because you don't get the weird quirkiness from, like, Seko or, like... <laughs> Uh, from Chicolata anything, and you're just like, eh, that's kind of weird. Good, 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 Um, and the, it was really good, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> people memed the hell out of this one, too. Yep. And people are appreciative of just and a, adapting. And a this. random re. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I like that part right there. Yep. Also, the voice actor, too, man. He went all out. Yeah, he went all, mm-hmm. all out, man. Because there was, like, you know, the... Regular Muda from uh, from Dio, mm-hmm. and then there's there's this one, the Jorno Muda. I mean, yeah. you, you saw you heard a little earlier, like in with his fight with uh, what do you call it, um, Black Sabbath. Uh-huh. But then you hear the whole thing in here. Yeah, because they they were like moments people were wait, there were moments people were waiting for this inside this was like yeah they were waiting for the suck <laughs> yeah waiting for the suck give me the suck the torture they were, dance the torture dance they were waiting for the pee the pee the Drinking the piss. Uh-huh. They was waiting for the Ariba Dirty. Yeah, they were waiting for Ariba Dirty and uh-huh. the seven page Muda. And they was waiting for a Spicy Girl. Yeah, Spice Girl too. Uh-huh. And also, it just works. Oh, it just works. With actually, it just works. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like I said, like it's kind of funny to think like I'd never really like this one, but I can consider like okay, this is actually a pretty good arc mm-hmm. right here. You know, it's kind of a filler. I will say right now, like. Not a lot of happens inside this arc right here kind of transcends into the next <laughs> or any other arc. Well, that's the but it was just mm-hmm. fun to, <laughs> to think of right here, you know. Because part seven, after part seven, it, it just kind of... I mean, after part six? Mm-hmm. Six, yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> after part six, you that's when, like, this stuff matters. What happens on from, yeah. from here on out. Uh, but that's it then. <laughs> Anyways, oh, man. How's it back? How's it feel to be back? <laughs> Feels good. Yeah. Feels good, man. Yeah. Good Ooh. to be back. Did two different cons in one week. Yes, and this then kind of this come up week is another con. Oh yeah, what's up this one? It was on uh, um, let's see, Revolution. Oh yeah, Comic Con. Uh, yeah, Comic Con Revolution. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> that's what I said. Three con. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, and I'm going. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say. Yeah, so I'm going that. I'm going Saturday. Oh, what about Friday? Because I'm free Friday. That's not. They want to do. It's a two day one. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> you said no. No. That's what I say. Look on the page. It's only Friday. It's only Saturday, uh, Sunday. Fact. Whatever. <laughs> Doesn't like, matter. Like, well, how about Friday? Probably a con for yourself, I'm guessing. <laughs> I'll be there by myself. So you be there like, There's Yay! no one here. This is such <laughs> a great con. <laughs> con, Joseph. <laughs> uh, so yeah, go see Lauren at uh, Comic-Con Revolution. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll be there sure Saturday. I'm working that day. At Rosemont. But I think I can go Sunday. I'll see if I want to go Sunday. <laughs> yeah, just to check it out. Yeah, I mean, Thumbs I'm up. already invited and mm-hmm. all that stuff. Retired. <laughs> yeah, retired. Um... Go to our Twitter at TDPOTI Podcast. Yes. Follow me individually at Joe Mamel. Guess what? Also, E3 is happening soon, too. Yeah, that's like in two the, weeks. Like it's two in the rumor weeks. mill of like, oh, the PS5. I'm just like, I don't want the PS5 to be out already, you know? It's like, 
No, that will come out like next year, 2020. Uh, I mean, something like that. Uh, but even then, it, should it come out? Yeah, next? it probably will because you know, everybody love that it only comes out like a half a second for Spider-Man 5. <laughs> I mean, the new Spider-Man games. Like, yeah, but if it's... Is it going to work for all games at five seconds? Mm-mm. Also, um, uh, go probably next week, I'm going to do a review on NBA 2K19 on the Nintendo Switch. Oh, my God. And Final <laughs> Fantasy Seven on the Nintendo Switch as well. You bought Final Fantasy Seven? Yes. Oh, my God. On I the go. You, I thought you said you didn't like that. Okay. No, I like Final Fantasy Oh, you like VII. it? But not as much as the other ones. Not I, to the point of where everyone's praising it to be the best. So, think of what the thing is. Final Fantasy Seven. that was the first Final Fantasy I... I got into Final Fantasy VIII. I enjoyed the story, even though it's dumb and convoluted. Like he go, Cloud is a fucking ant lord. <laughs> That's all he is. He's a fucking ant lord. And eight, uh, uh, Squad is an asshole. Mm. He's just a bit of an asshole. And nine, everybody loved nine, but I can't stand nine. Reason why mm-hmm. because nine was so convoluted, and I just lost interest. Ten. Titus is a fucking crybaby. <laughs> Twelve was on. Eleven was online. Twelve uh-huh. was on um, weird. <laughs> yeah, twelve was weird because I'm like, oh yeah, twelve. I started getting into it. I'm just like, okay, this is just too fucking political for me. Yeah, twelve was political as fuck, and I'm not sure who the main character is, and I started caring about who the main character was. Was thirteen the one with the hallway? Huh? Thirteen was no. the one with the hallway. The one well, where you just like on keep walking down the same wall or No? Is no. that twelve? <laughs> no, I don't even know. I'm like what's with the hallway? You I don't about? know. Cause I don't remember what fourteen was or fourteen was online. What was thirteen then? Thirteen was lightning. Returns? Yeah. <laughs> lightning returns. <laughs> no, it was thirteen it was they did they did three games off of Final Fantasy thirteen. Oh, Jesus. Uh I think thirteen was a hallway. I see original vanilla thirteen, and it's just it was focused on to me. It was the black guy with the afro with the cho- chocobo and his afro. And also there was the hallway. <laughs> I, I remember. I guess like the first I think five hours is like you're just walking down the hallway. <laughs> I don't even know. All I know is fifteen is the one is what people liked. <laughs> yeah, people like fifteen, but then they were supposed to make a lot of DLC for fifteen, and they like nah. Mm-hmm. They did like a couple, and then it's like nah. So Not when really. Final Fantasy 17 comes out or 16 comes out, I won't care. <laughs> <laughs> and like, and you got the remake of Final Fantasy 7 comes out, and I still say I don't care because 17 because Final Fantasy 7 is clouds of fucking Angel Lord. Final Fantasy 1 is not interesting at all because that's just a fucking no character development at all. Final Fantasy 2, don't care because no, nothing at all. Final Fantasy 3, I do like because I do like Cassesso and C, uh and all the other stuff because that's a good fine. No, that's Final Fantasy. No, that's Final Fantasy Four. Final Fantasy Three is the fucking Onion Kids. Don't really care about those <laughs> fucking four kids that were all related to each other. Don't care about the shit. Final Fantasy Four, care about that. That's a good Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy Five, eh, whatever. But Bart's or Bert's, whatever that fucking character name, mm. suck ass. Don't care about pirates and shit. Final mm. Fantasy Six. That's a good Final Fantasy. But you know, it, in the count of the downer. But still, it's a good Final Fantasy. That was funny how f- people were like, oh, Final Fantasy 2 and 3 whatever. Then they went to 7. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell happened to the other games? <laughs> yeah, but then I like, realized, like, nope, America yeah, got, no, got fucked up. <laughs> yeah, they did. No yeah. one really cared about JRPGs. Uh, now geez. everyone does. Also, you can follow me at Broken Hacks Around. Oh, my God. Twitter. <laughs> yeah, follow me. So I was thinking about that. Um, and go to our Facebook, facebook.com slash the dead pixels of the internet. Yep. Like YouTube. the page. Oh, youtube.com slash TDP. Uh, no. Uh, dead pixels internet. Yeah. <laughs> um, go ahead. Our homepage. Uh, uh, the dead pixels internet at podbean.com. Yeah. And subscribe uh, Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, the School Tree of Chicago. And we are done. This has been a long one. Is it? Yeah. Go to you. Uh, go to our YouTube, iTunes. <laughs> iTunes, Stitcher Radio. Stitcher Radio. Just search up the Dead Pixels and then uh, we there, boys. Oh, my God. This has been the, the Dead, Dead Pixels on the Internet. Ruining the, the census 2011. 2011. Welcome to...